You're that woman's massive. Safe, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Vicky Tiny, or is that woman massive? Hello and welcome to the Shadow Proclamation. With <laughs> oh no, oh no, it's all gone Sorry. wrong. With myself, Thomas, and <laughs> and with me, Paul. Nice. Um, we're watching Galaxy Four, so we enjoyed the first part. Nice uh, color animation looked really good, actually. Um, probably the best, I'd say, the best looking reconstruction we've seen so far of the classic episodes we've watched together it was really nice um mm. an engaging animation style anything we need to know going into episode two paul uh no i don't think i don't think anything particular no maybe we'll just see what comes up in the episode awesome awesome well should we jump into it absolutely that's quite close together aren't they yeah very close together <laughs> knows what the gravitational effects are of that yeah some pretty impressive tides you'd get mm. from that the the branches look a bit like bones don't they yeah they do actually i was playing mario kart in germany on holiday once and uh do you know what german for the character dry bones was uh no knocken trocken <laughs> That reminds me of on Super Smash Brothers. There's a uh, Jigglypuff, the Pokemon in the front where he changed the language to French. It just used to call him Rom Doodle. <laughs> that woman's massive. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> is yeah. Vicky Tiny or is that woman massive? No, I can't. That's true. Look, can't I go and look for them? I didn't notice in the last episode that she was supposed They're to be that, particularly so big we... in comparison to other people. You don't need to advertise to me, Sam Miguel. You've already won. <laughs> You've got me. You had me at hello. <laughs> you complete oh, me. <laughs> they clearly didn't believe you, Thomas. They're back for more. In the first place, madam, I never kill anything. Would like to mention that in uh, an unearthly child, he did consider stoning a person to death in order to put them out of their misery. Either they succeed, or we all die together. Yeah, that is grim, isn't it? Mm. Everybody dies. Everybody dies. Just this once, Rose. Everybody dies. <laughs> so here's my. Here's my take. The robots could have got in at any point, yeah? Yeah. Do you think they're trying to... The robots are actually trying to help them? Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, boy. That was a bit of an easy take for Stephen, then. Yeah, did... <laughs> he just goes like, oh, take that. Oh, oh thank you very much. <laughs> I'm quite enjoying this, but interestingly, apparently the, the main kind of cast of the show were quite unhappy with the scripts for this. And... Really? Caused quite a bit of tension with the production team, um, including one of them threatening to fire William Hartnell. <laughs> um, I mean, um, if you do that, then there's no Doctor Who, is there? I think it was originally, I read it was written originally for Ian and Barbara. Um, right, I see. I think as well, the there were quite a few changes. So the Dravins were originally male and Verity Lambert had them changed to female. So I think the BBC partly owns the rights to the Dravins because they were created by the writer, William Ems, but Verity Lambert, you know, changed them to female, gave them some hold over it. And homework. Back to me tomorrow, yeah? The King Box double melt. Didn't know that Burger King and Galaxy 4. I prefer Burger King to McDonald's. There you go. Do you? Yeah. Better burgers. I mean, to be fair, the name. yeah, I, I, I don't feel any strong impulse to argue against that. You know? <laughs> Burger King is kind of the underdog in a sense. So, just lobbed a rock at it. I noted, observed, collated, concluded. And then I threw the rock. Oh, yes, 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 quite so, yes, yes. Is that finished? This is a bit risky, because if it just turns around... I guess, why would it turn around? Because yeah. every now and then it falls apart. 
And you oh, need me it. now <laughs> tonight. One. Turn around. <laughs> Bright eyes. The amount of key changes in that song is brilliant. <laughs> Your wall is a very similar shade to the Chumbly wall, Paul. <laughs> I'm actually recording live from the Chumbly city. <laughs> now that, can you hear that sound, that heartbeat effect? Oh, yeah. Now that's only ever, apart from this story, only ever used for Dalek stories. Oh, insert 50p. <laughs> How can you have a, a baby chumbling? Because <laughs> they're robots, right? I think so. Yeah. So you don't you don't have baby robots. You just build them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what the heck is that? Looks like a tapeworm or something. Yeah. Bottom feeding suction eel. Yeah, I used to be in a band called that. <laughs> bottom feeding suction the feeding eel. suction eel. Um, oh, that reminds me of a joke. What's the difference between a catfish and a lawyer? Oh, I have heard this one. I can't remember though. One's a filthy bottom dwelling <laughs> scum sucker, and the other is a fish. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> Um. Well, Paul, I sorry you've frozen. Paul, he can't hear me. Paul, Paul, I'm here. Oh, sorry, there. I'm here. See the whole time. You didn't stop. <laughs> sorry, it completely froze. Um. Yeah, it's a bit juddery. I can barely hear you at the moment. Mm. I don't know. Oh, there we go. I think we've got you. Don't know what's going on. All right. Yeah, no, you're back. Um, well, Paul, I think that episode absolutely slapped buttock. <laughs> yeah, I'm still really, I'm, I'm really enjoying it, actually. I'm I'm still feeling the thing. I mean, I, I, don't, I don't know if there was a lot of new stuff in this episode so much. Um, yeah. It kind of continued, but it just kind of continued the the good sort of feel and the tension that it had built in the first story. I mean, I think, yeah, I mean, like I said, it, it, it there is a grimness to it that the destruction of a whole planet and the kind of, you know, you can't run anywhere to escape from that. So that's, um, you know, quite a nice idea. So, um, yeah, but good to kind of get into the Chumbly City. Be good to see a bit more about that. I wonder, I wonder if we are going to see that the Chumblies are actually the good ones somewhere along the line that has been a misunderstanding. Yeah, they don't seem to have done anything particularly malevolent so far. I guess the only ominous thing was they were trying to break into the TARDIS, but that might have been well With explosives. That's true. That's, That's relatively true. Uh, heavy-handed. But maybe yeah. they thought um maybe they thought they were trying to, you know, get into the TARDIS to save someone or to use the TARDIS to save someone. You know, I'm, I'm going to give the Chumblies the benefit of the doubt. I, I like, I'm pro Chumbly. We live in a society that always assumes the worst about people's motivations, you know. So I think my favourite thing in the uh, the story, though, in that episode, would probably be the, the relationship between Vicky and the Doctor. I mean, I know we're getting that in pretty much every story, but just lovely little bit of banter with the two of them. I love seeing the two of them together. They work really well as... You know, when they do kind of split people off. I think in Time Meddler had to, uh, Vicky and Stephen off together for a lot of it, um, which was, you know, which worked, you know, it was it was good, to, you know, it was a great story in the Time Meddler, but it's good to see Vicky with the Doctor. Yeah. Like you saw in like the Romans, it worked really well and it works really well in this. The little bit of banter when he's saying, you know, about her hypothesis about throwing the rock at the Chumbly and she kind of is a bit playful with her response um, was really good. So I, I really like that. I think that'd be my standout thing for me. Yeah, yeah, because she's a little bit more, not reckless, but a bit, yeah, a bit more risk-taking, you know, a bit more willing to kind of push the boat out. And the Doctor's a little bit like, no, 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 don't do that. So that's quite a, a nice bit of tension between them. But I think she's kind of gradually changing him a little bit, isn't she? Uh, he seems a bit more chilled. 
uh, mm. than he perhaps was at the start of series two, maybe. Um, yeah, it was such a big change from the beginning of series two to the end of series series two, really, wasn't there? So yeah, and don't get but, us started on series one. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, she's she's very kind of she's got she's quite feisty in some ways, isn't she? Um, mm. So that's quite good to see. Um, so yeah, the relationship there, I think, is great. But but not an annoying sort of feisty. It's not like she's constantly just patronizing or antagonizing the doctor for the sake of it. Um, it's kind of no. a, a banterousness, isn't it? Yeah, she's not over the top or in your face, is she? No, no, exactly. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Well, um, thanks for watching, everyone. It's been great to have you with us, even though we can't see you and we don't really know who you are but well we we have some <laughs> idea of who you are by your lovely comments and so thanks for those and thanks for joining us in this journey and i guess we'll be back for the next one yeah moving pictures next time from actual footage hopefully so wow exciting <laughs> well goodbye until then bye-bye <laughs>